Hi everyone. Welcome back to Random Reels. So, without wasting any more time, I am going to the topic directly. A few days ago I made a video tutorial on reducing video size using the handbrake application. You can still see that video by clicking on this above link. In that video, I demonstrated the process of compressing a large video to make it smaller using various presets in handbrake. That day, although I was able to compress the videos in that tutorial, if I want to be honest, the videos were not compressed as I expected. Now I am coming to the point. After completing the tutorial, I produced the video using a video editor for uploading to YouTube. The size of that tutorial video was 1.3 gigabytes. That was really big to upload on YouTube using a slow network. Therefore, I compressed the video using Handbrake to make it some smaller. But what did I see after compressing is very surprising. Handbrake managed to compress my video very well and without compromising the video quality. Can you imagine the size of the video after compressing? It's just 97 megabytes. Vav! From 1.3 gigabytes to just 97 megabytes. And that's why I love this program. So today I once again want you to show the process to convert 1 gigabyte video to just 100 megabytes or less. So let's open Handbrake and start the process again. You can see, this was the original tutorial video and it is almost 1.3 gigabytes in size. So let's compress it again. Okay. This is Handbrake icon and just double click on it to open the program. This is the first window of the Handbrake app that you will see after opening it. And, this is the video for this test. Now drag the video and drop it on it just like this. This is the title of this video. And, this is the duration and it is 6 minutes and 49 seconds long. Here you can choose the output format of the video from these three options, and I have chosen the MP4 format. And, this is the path to find the compressed video. I am giving it a new name and that is, Compressed Video. It will help us to find the video later quickly after compressing. Now you have to select a preset from this drop-down list. There are several presets available. And we will choose this, high quality 1080 pixels, preset for this video. You can see that there are several menus and settings available here. These settings allow you to edit the video just like, crop, flip, apply filters etc. But you don't need to change these settings and, leave those options as they are. Now click on this, start and code button to start the video compression task. On this status bar, you can see the progress of the current task. This green bar also indicates the progress of the task. This process needs a few minutes to complete. Okay, as you can see here, the video compression process has been completed successfully. Now you can open and see the compressed video by clicking this option. Okay, here is our video. And, and I am hovering the cursor on it to show you the size of the video. Vav. You can clearly see here, it is only 97 megabytes and the length is 6 minutes and 49 seconds. That's pretty amazing. Now I will move this video to the desktop of my PC, and, it is done. This window and the handbrake program are no longer needed right now, so I am closing them. Now you can see, this is the original video and, this is the compressed version of the original video. I will show you their sizes again. This original video is 1.3 gigabits in size and it is 6 minutes 49 seconds long, and this is the new compressed video and its size is only 97 megabytes while the length is the same as the original video. Now we will test the quality of the videos. Let's open the first video. Here you can see that the video quality is very good and clear.
So let's open another video. It is also very sharp, you can clearly see that there is no any loss in video quality in the compressed video. In this video, you saw how Handbrake Video Transcoder can easily compress videos without damaging the video quality. The process is quite simple and anyone can use it easily. Thanks for watching this video on Random Reels. And if you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more awesome content. See you in the next video.